Alright, so I have come to film a video and I'm going to be filming one about hair. And I get asked this a lot about how I groom my hair and how it is as long as it is now. And yes, so I will put pictures of what my hair looks like now versus before. right now and my hair is obviously not that great right now I mean it's pretty soft I need to shower and I know why I take a video when your hair is like crap but anyways so yes I had problems growing my hair a lot in the past and well I guess I don't know, it was long when I was a child, kind of, but then I wanted it short, like it, like everybody else got it short all their sh hair short all the time, but I was never allowed to get it cut short ever. My mom would never let me, so then when I finally moved here 10 years ago, my mom let me, and of course then I regretted that later on, and I never go back, and so it was like, oh, long time ago. And we kind of stayed like about here, here, I don't know, like there-ish for a long time. Like I gave up a lot in like 10th to 11th grade or something. And I just did like, cut it short until I get these hairstyles that I couldn't get. So I don't know. But, so, yeah. Anyway. It's pretty late here right now. It's like 12, 26, but anyways. So, my hair ever grew, and basically almost all in high school, I tried to get like that popular bangs thing everybody got, and it always messed up. I never got it the way I wanted it, like everybody else. So I kept getting it cut. They kept going places to fix it, and they kept doing what they said this is popular right now. It's something that happened at work, and every weird random pieces, it was just getting so annoying. And so, I was just like, so annoyed, like, I couldn't get it right, like my hair. So when I guess in ninth grade, I decided I'm just going to go with all that one way. <laughs> That was a long time ago, obviously. Like, at the end of one grade, I just said I was going to grow it one way. And then she was going to grow it out. I mean, I would have wanted that. But I didn't actually want that until, like, in the senior year. So, yes. And so then I kind of wanted that. And so I bought the man tail for the first time. Because somebody else was using the big ones. So I got that and tried that. And what I think about that is, that it looks very nice and not saggy, but it's not like the answer to like your, what's the answer to like your hair problems. It depends. Like, I don't think it really helped me at all, but I don't know. It's just like. like I tried so hard to get it to grow and so then towards the end of high school of course I used that and then used it probably throughout the summer I think and then after that well what made my hair grow actually was the fact that um what was it but the fact that 
And this one where it was, it was weird probably because I graduated. I didn't really care about my hair. My hair started actually looking okay, like natural, so I left it natural like all the time because I thought that was so cool and everybody else had to do it, so I wanted to leave my hair natural too. And so I did that like basically throughout the whole summer. And then I realized my hair started growing. So I was like, oh, that's great, my hair is growing. So I mean, I'm like, I knew that like doing that all the time to your hair isn't good, like burning it and stuff. But anyway, so then I did that. And then I realized I wish I had a boyfriend at the time and for some reason. Sometimes when you date somebody, you don't care about your parents that much anymore. For me, I don't really think that because I don't really care now sometimes. So, yeah, but so when I said we were here for like a long time, and I mean, I tried doing that recently again for like three months, but close to it, I did my hair for like some special trip or something to some place and then of course then after I did that my hair couldn't go back to the natural state because it was staticky because of what I used but usually I say I'm so of course I used mane and tail for a while but I mostly got off that because I used something else but I'm not really sure what I used but anyways, then I used mainly to for quite a while, but I don't really know what I used to have for that. It was something else. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I was on mainly to for a while. That's pretty good, but then I did use the herbal grow ones, and that's for them too. And I actually did do some things, though. But also, it did make my hair grow without using the heat, obviously no straightener type thing. But it could also be a factor that for some reason when you get to a certain age your hair will start to randomly grow. Because you're in that stage I guess that happens. But I think it was more the fact that I didn't use heat because I noticed a difference. I mean it was kinda of growing but it was like like not really at all. And I mean I don't use, I don't do anything where you're like dying or anything bad, so I wouldn't know why that would affect it. But my, my hair would not grow, I guess, because the heat was pretty big, I guess. And I did use heat protection then, and I do use Beyond the Zone heat protection, and you can get that anywhere, and it's probably like the one of the best stuff. I mean, if you have a Sally's Beauty, that's where you get it. Or online, but I don't straighten my hair anymore. If I do, it's very light. Usually I use like a blow dryer and that's better. And it's better if you wait till it's almost dry because then you don't have to do that for like how long. You do it as fast as you can. Don't do the ends too much and that will save you damage too. You can straighten pieces afterwards if it's like a mess, but usually I get it all. It actually does look better blow dry because it's big and it will actually stay because you blow dried it dry that way and you straighten it that way. I mean, yeah, it could probably go into a weird state. Maybe if it was hot, but the strainer I use Seems to do really well with heat, and I use the the Connor Affinity, and that's pretty good. And I've had that for two years, so that's good too. And I also started using two new curling irons. I have a video on one of those on um, my YouTube channel, and I talked about the other one I got before that, and which one I like better, but. So I don't really use those that much either, but the new curler I got doesn't stay on your hair that long, so that one probably better wise. But I say that if you want to grow your hair, don't use like any straighteners or anything. I mean, like if you have to, I mean, do like the minimum, like 
maybe it will dry a little bit in the stream, but don't like overdo it. But if you can't go natural, you do the blow dry. And if you still can't do it with that, then you have to straighten it. But some people may have great natural hair, curl hair, and it may get boring after all after the same hair stuff. But at the end, you have a great thing. Okay, so now we'll get back into the shampoos. I said I used the Herbal Grow, and that has olive oil, and that's good for growing hair. It's really good. And so that helped me too. This is coconut stuff for a while. I'm not really sure what it was. That was good too. It kind of helped. It kind of made it softer. I don't really know if it helped that much. But then, there's this other shampoo I used, and it's called My Mother's Way to Grow. And that was probably what made my hair grow to where it is now. And that was pretty amazing. I mean, I started growing out my hair probably almost three years ago. So, yeah, it was three, almost three years ago. So, it was more than that. No, three years ago. But, so I used mane and tail. I used the herbal girl. And then I used the herbal spray girl twice this past summer. And that was like wow okay so I think you use it right away it will have an effect the first time and the second time maybe not as much but it had an effect on my hair and it was bad <laughs> okay so I mean I would recommend this to somebody else yes because it really grew my hair long but the thing is is that my hair had this problem before now that I'm thinking about it but that was because I hadn't cut it in a long time, but it was uneven and it was growing like really wild. Like once it was so long than the other, it's like you can even tell it's like two more inches here than here. And it was probably because I used the shampoo. So this side didn't do anything versus this side. And so I had to eventually get it cut and I had to do it one time for that. I actually think that happened more in the summer, but it kept getting worse in the winter. So, I mean, that's pretty good for using shampoo, like, in the summer. And then, like, it's longer. It got longer right away, so I don't know. I use that. Like, I noticed some things in, like, a month or so, but you never know. It could just be my hair doing that thing again. Yeah, I think the shampoo helped it go crazy, but okay, so I have no clue what's in that. I just heard there's great reviews on that. I mean, it appears like really, really damaged. I don't know, Woodberg. Like people say that getting trims helps your hair grow. I wouldn't think so because it's not growing from the bottom, it's growing from the top of your hair, so that wouldn't make any sense to me really, but yeah. So tips on growing your hair, obviously for some I know that I can't do, like I know I could drink water, I mean yeah, but I mean like eating vegetables and all that, I don't eat vegetables at all if I can't. I hate them, so that wouldn't be for me personally. But like, there is other things. I know you can take like the biotin and stuff. Anything biotin in it that would be good for that. You know, we can use certain types of like fish and things. Like, I think it's also in tuna fish a lot. And, like, I know seems just don't really help though, but I feel like there's something going on with that too. But I just like those. For some reason, I don't think it, I ate it for my hair. I don't know. I'm not that weird. I know people that like do everything for the hair. And their hair is like to their butt, and it's just like, and they have it better than I do because they don't use heat. I'm just like, okay, cares not about you. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else you can do. There's so many things, like, obviously, 
The time I sat doing training for football, trying that show in the Premier League. For some reason, my hair grew doing that too. I don't really know why. But it also really grew more in the fact that it didn't use any heat at all. That helps a lot. Like, in sound, that's probably like the best thing ever. But for some reason, sometimes your hair can grow. There's reasons I don't really know. But also, people said they used to like the mindset in your hair, and I think that's kind of gross, you know. I've seen some of this in it, and I don't think it gets as much big pipe on it as they say it does. Like they say, it grows your hair really long, really fast, and I don't really think that's true at all. So, I wouldn't pay attention to that. I mean, you could try it for yourself. Um, but there's shampoos that might go right here, like you can check big shampoos like overseas sometimes there could be something there that does actually do it like Japan or something. You never know. I mean like there's some shampoos I heard of like overseas that do help with the hair grow. And I almost purchased one once but they're really expensive like small bottles so you end up paying like 40 something I can't remember what brand it was but I don't know I don't really think that really matters but there is shampoos I know you can get at like Walmart I don't know about Myers you can get like uh, not there we have a lot of weird stores in Michigan so you dig on like our Myers which is actually other places too, so we live in like other states and where is like Ohio or something, yeah, they could be there too. Um, Walmart has that, I saw they sell bigger ones, Wall of Beans, and they had a sale 6 for 12. But basically the shampoo makes like different types of ones, and they say it's like all organics and stuff. I mean, yeah, so it is a coconut milk one. There's a biotin college one. Now I said biotin really helps with that hair growth. Yes. I thought about getting that, but then I thought I'll just go for the coconut one because I know when it's really, really big growing here, like it's big time. My well, shampoos are not like the biggest. So if you get into this, it's going to be kind of hard to like, convince like somebody to get it for you unless you can afford to buy it. And you're always going to be like, it was like six, no, it's twelve dollars at Walmart. But you can buy bigger ones, but I don't know where you get those. But I've already used it like twice, and it's pretty good. I mean, it was like, like the smell, like, like went all over the place. It's like the best coconut stuff I swear we still smell it after I dry my hair and that's pretty weird but I mean yes so other tips to go over here that I forgot um the hair washing thing is a big thing too you can't um say uh, uh like wash your hair every day it's bad. Some people, they may not be able to go without it. I mean, it depends on the damage your hair. Damage your hair. Don't expect it to grow. Like anything like coloring, straightening hair, everything. Damaging. But, I say that for me, I know it's going to wash your I wash my hair, the shampoo, I could go about, I think about two, no, three days, I feel like it stayed the same, like, my hair never changed. I mean, like, if you don't, if you, like, don't really do anything to your hair, your hair could probably last up to three days natural. For me, it lasted, and I just blew dry that, and it lasted for up to, probably, Three days, I think I don't really know. But for me, I can't wash my hair every day because 
the fact is, is that there was times in the past where I've tried to do it like two days in a row and it like has not worked. It like is worse the next day. It's like there's so nice shiny and then you're gonna try to force it in the shower again. It's already in the same state you would want it. And then so when you go and shower and then you uh, come out and it's just not the same. It's crap because that happened to me a couple of times and my hair doesn't do well, it kind of dries out, it doesn't do well, and of course you want the oils for your hair, so that's kind of the reason, and so that's one thing I have to say is that for me washing my hair every day does not work, it never has. And I don't think it ever will. But if any hair was crazy, I would have to wash it every day. But it's not. And some people that can't continue your hair could do that. But for me, my hair is still really soft though. But probably by tomorrow, I'll probably have to wash it, obviously. But yeah, so I see that yeah. do you think there's anything else about the hair washer I mean obviously some people might think that's gross I mean for me it's what works best I mean I hear a lot of times that people say they wash hair like maybe once a week and that's for people that have that but not me I do have to wash it every other day most times but sometimes my hair is really nice and it's not like bad at all my hair doesn't dry out easily I and mean, make it very see that easily why I don't know it's just a thing I don't understand I want my hair so nice and also there's a new shampoo but when you change it your shampoo my hair is like 10 times different and is extra Shiny nice and it's just like cool. So yes. There's so many other things I'm forgetting. I'm pretty sure I have a lot, lot of ideas. I know I've heard, I've read about some things I don't think work, some do. Like I know it's such a help a lot of people, but wearing ponytails doesn't help either. With the whole hair book either. And I know a lot of people probably are like, oh, but then if I can't wear my, I can't wear my hair natural, but then I can't do the ponytail, and it's like, no, you don't want to point your hair and all that. Wearing it all the time is not good either. I try to let myself go two times a week, but, you know, sometimes I don't really, but, yes, so, that I'm trying to think there's anything else. I mean, all those people on like internet and Instagram that talk about the coconut stuff that they use, I mean, you message them, not message them, you post, I post a picture of my hair and then they'll comment on it and say stuff about the coconut. I mean, you try to tell them what you do and then just post the same thing. They're just, not even, they're just like a robot and they're just trying to sell something that's not even real. I mean, I wouldn't trust anybody at all. That stuff. I wouldn't go on to random site and see, oh yeah, there's some, there's some pillows to like, to for like your hair and shampoo and you can't put anything on the site or anything. Like it's just the pills and the shampoo. But if you can find views, that's good. But don't take any random pills off the internet for your hair. Just don't. I wouldn't trust that unless it's in the store, and you know. I'm going to visit your local health food store for my jeans. I don't really know what jeans you would have to do for that. I mean, you can go to Walgreens right now. You can just walk right in there and pick up the bio team. But personally, those things are chocking. <laughs> I have a hard time with swallowing pills. I thought about getting that before, but I'm not going to. Because why would I need to take that? No.
Mm -mm. I mean, you can. It does help other things too. I mean, I do admit to that. What do you mean? Yeah. But, anyways, some people just have a hard time with that and it doesn't grow at all. I would think you have like some sort of problem with your hair and I would like probably get that checked out but I don't really think that's true. So say your hair grows like a half an inch every month. I don't feel mine really was but maybe it was it just was getting destroyed every time. I mean yeah so I haven't cut my hair I was obviously I haven't cut my hair since November either and I'm supposed to go in and highlight the thing, highlight my hair again. I do it like so that every every twice a year, which works out for me somehow. But I do this blonde hat to the blonde. It's the cool thing. I do. I know if I want to change that. So no dyeing highlights. What I do, you know. Time hair like every single day that would just kill it. It's not good. I hear stories about how people dye their hair over and over and over again. Just killed it and then never came back. And people are just buying extensions for their hair. Yes. So there is other things that you can do. I forgot to say that you can to to get your hair grow. I sort of like. Um, special milks that you can use. I don't know where to get those. If I have to get them online, I don't really know if I would be able to do that. That's gross, but every ingredient in those milks, they have chocolate and white, and every ingredient is basically for hair in there. Every single ingredient. So, yeah, that's pretty a lot. And then Another thing is, is that there's these drinks that are on the market right now. I'm feeling sure there's like thousands of them. I mean, every store and every gas station in my town has these. And they're called the sparkling ice drinks. I don't know. Every place in the world can have them. I at least have over 20 drinks. I just found their, their teas the other day. I haven't read the ingredients. Pretty sure it's going to be in there too. But basically, the sparkling ice contains 10% melted, which obviously I said you want that. It's pretty good that they filled in there. It's just like a wait a minute. Hold on. Just like when you read something, there's like fatty acids in there. You're like, oh. Look at that! Here! So, yes, yeah, so I think if you don't like water that much and you can drink it all the time, I guess I would look towards that or anything that has biotin or anything that has to do with hair growth. I eat a lot of it. I guess if I drink, like, I went to like my Sam's Club or Costco or something, which I'm not a member, so it look kind of hard, but, um, I'm gonna go up there and buy like a huge pack of the ice drinks. I drink those all the time, 24-7. I'm pretty sure that would probably help my hair somewhat, but I don't think it would be that much. But I'm gonna be drinking all the time, maybe. I think it's another easy way. Probably lazy. I think working out helps too. Like exercise, yes. I think yeah, my hair's gonna be growing a lot because I've been working a lot lately, so. It be a big deal too. Hair is pretty long. I mean, I so said that hair was a little crazy growing. I feel that the shampoo still is kind of growing my hair crazy, or maybe my hair just does it after a certain length. I never had this length of hair before. And honestly, you can see that it's uneven because this one, for some reason, seems to grow it. This one is actually growing now, which is surprising. It never did before. I was gonna try to get like, remember how many inches I wanted. I actually really haven't reached that. Really, they get lazy. 
I think with something, I can't remember what I did, but I got lazy and went through something. So that's why I have to grow where I wanted it to. And I'm just gonna let it keep growing until I'm okay with that. But yeah, so my hair right now is 22. I think one side, this side was 22 for a while. I'm not sure. I have like one of those measuring tapes that you use for like clothing and stuff. And if I put that on my hair, it will tell me how long it is. I think this would probably be about 19 or 20 because that's what it was before. And this one would probably be almost about the same. But this one was like 22. When I measured it after using the night you measured it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to I'm so excited. And then I did this and I kept doing it. It's like 18, 19, what? Doing it and doing it. And I was like, no, it really is. And then it's like, I'm just going to let this eye grow. It's not like cutting this eye. It was like so longer. And I was like, so. But, well, then I found out that I had to cut it. And so, and this side seems to be growing now. I took it out that shampoo, so I don't really know. But it's like slow growth. I mean, by next year, if we mold her could be like right here. It's, it's long, but then when I put it, it's like halfway down the back when I throw it back there. But here, it's not. It doesn't look as long. Because obviously the poops are no pain and thing, but yeah, but usually if your hair hasn't really grown at all that much in the past and it starts to grow, you look like oh my hair you don't really don't notice. Even I still think my hair is like not really that long, I think it's short. I wish it was long enough to wear it. it I have to like go where you go on it, like it would just be all the way down here. It's going to be annoying. And I wish it was on one length because my hair still isn't for the whole thing. It's, I know like it's still like up here, but it hasn't been going in. And I've been, ch I think it's that trim a little bit last time, I don't know. I mean, actually, you know, I haven't grown it, and it still does something to my face a little bit, but the thing is, I want it only for a reason, and I'm trying to get, I don't know, well, at all. <sighs> but we'll see. You never know. I'll we'll probably make a video again about shampoos maybe maybe not but i recommend you go look for those and talk really weird so awkward but i mean like i know everybody wants the the special like magic formula how to grow hair in like in like two weeks they want to wake up and find their hair like down to the foot and she says that's not gonna happen both times, but the closest thing I've come to that is that shampoo I talked about. And I wouldn't be scared if it goes your hair weird because, like I said, I think my hair already did that in the past before I used that shampoo. It kind of was uneven after a while, but I didn't notice that. But I didn't cut it for a while either, so. So I don't know that shampoo sublime. I think it might be a little bit, but I mean, they say that go for it, not your mother's way to grow. It is a little bit expensive for the size, sadly. I mean, they have that like Ulta Walmart. Sometimes it's hard to find that. Really, it really is. Um, I think Walgreens said they have that. Some mommers do, I don't know what Target does. My Myers definitely does and they have great sales on that. If you wait, you could get a pack for like three, four dollars. 
We we'll just have to wait, I guess. And that's pretty good when it pays five dollars. But if you want to cheat, you can improve that may help a little bit in your growth. I guess if you did like the no heat type thing and blow dry and all that, you could use the mane and tail and that is so cheap for what you get. It's like six bucks. It's not everywhere though. I think you can get it at Walmart, but my Myers it's like six dollars and it's like thirty-two pounds bottle. It's like a year I think. And that's like ginormous. You're big and you're still I still have those and I'll probably use those after the coconut stuff goes out in the summer. Since I can't afford to do coconut all the time. And the other shit I'm really talking about. <sighs> I have oil one with the herbal grow that's great too, but that is way expensive. I can't afford to do that at, at all. I never recommend doing it in the summer because it does have static issues. But I can't use that shampoo at all because you have to go down from the store. And if you really want to try it, you go to their site. But it's like so expensive because you have to pay the shipping. And the fact that they're small ones, we were like four dollars. It's eight. And there's like six dollars shipping or something, and like almost is twenty dollars. Just like. And the main detail is like 19. Not, I mean, not your resident girl if you can't find it in the store. It's 19. But I guess if you check with Amazon, which I highly recommend looking at Amazon, then yes, you could find it there. And if you want to try all the shampoos, I guess you could like get like them all, like the shampoo and the conditioner, and, and then. Try to apply for the free shipping at $35 unless you get free shipping and that's cool then just don't worry about it. But they may not all be on there. So yes. That's true. I don't know. It depends. You have to make sure what seller you're buying from before you even go ahead and buy it though. And that's another thing, but I feel like if you wanted to get out of the shampoos and try that, you could do it. You would want it. But I think I'm thinking about something else. So, sure. Oh yes, and one more thing. When you buy the shampoo, you better get the conditioner. Because it's kind of stupid to buy one with the shampoo and expect to resolve. You have to have the conditioner too. It doesn't work. I mean, to the shampoo. If you really want the soft with your hair, you can get both. Because it just like makes no sense. Get a hand. Get a hand. Like I really don't. Like I knew when I found out about the coconut stuff, I thought, oh, what is this? Just like a bottle you put in like after your shampoo? And then I looked and saw the conditioner. You know, you have to get the conditioner. And don't get like when those bowls in one. Those aren't great. But don't do that. I would also like to say that I do use their shampoo with the coconut milk and I used the Redken one for my color because you have to use that for when you do highlights unless you don't want the highlights that you paid like a lot of money for. <laughs> and another thing is that when you go to salon you have to expect that it's going to cost a ton more money to deal with in coloring and highlights like I went in just for a parcel in November to try to get one they were going to charge me $90 for just the parcel foil I don't regular salon it's not even that main it's just one of those mainstream ones it's just like so I tried to get like the other one but then I don't know like the lesser version, but it's just like still fifty dollars. Just like, and the thing is, is that I could I could go to other people that don't base it on your like, you know, basing on more the fact of how much a highlight costs 
but yeah, that would be hard to do that since I don't go to that person anymore because me and my mom are trying to have super hair people because she's not super hair people and leaves them a lot and it just gets really odd for it and then I'm like stranded because I had a really good person before for like two years and then we left her and I think she charged like 35 and 35 is a really good number for eyelids and they're really nice and then well I don't have her anymore I don't have her person right now so if you are a good hair person you just can charge $90 maybe 50 that would be nice. If you're in the West Michigan area, that'd be great too. Alright, so this is a very long video. Sorry, it was 40 minutes. And